Hello everyone, welcome to Engineering Explain channel and welcome to this session. In this session I am going to discuss about the solar flat plate collector. Solar flat plate collector means it is one of them that is energy conversion system, the solar energy conversion system. Here the solar heat, whatever the heat present in the sun's radiation that is to be collected and that is to be stored in the one of the material. Okay, that usually this solar flat plate collector is used to heat the water and that water in that the heat it will be having then we can use that heat for the different applications. Here the, the solar flat plate collector means it is a flat plate and which collects the solar energy and it may be a horizontal and there the the solar radiation will be falling and the cover plates are there then the absorbing plate will absorb the heat and transfer to the the medium usually the water and for that the arrangements are made for the collection of the heat and transportation and sometimes if the solar flat plate whatever is there it is inclined towards the direction of sun's radiation the sun's radiation from this direction it may be uh, inclined okay in uh, right angles to that direction so that the maximum heat energy can be received by the this flat plate collector and maximum energy conversion can be taken place and continuation with this one the line diagram by using this we can explain the solar flat plate collector which is the solar thermal system also we will call the heat energy it can convert into a uh, useful form in the form of hot water that is called as a solar thermal system. It consists of the black absorber plate. It mainly consists of the black absorber plate which is made up of the high thermal conductivity material like uh, copper or aluminium. Okay, like that the absorber plate is made and uh, to that the whatever the tubes are attached Okay, that is a heat transparent fluid tubes, that one. And the tubes are also made up of the same materials of the material of the absorber plate. And the solar radiation, whatever is there, okay, that is a transfer through a transparent cover. The two layers of the transparent cover which are to be uh, uh, covered the absorber plate. So that whatever this uh, radiation passing through this absorber plate should not reflect back so that the, the whatever the two transparent layers covers are used that one the transparent cover is used okay then the for that one at the end the cushion is provided now to support the that glass transparent cover and here whenever the solar radiation falls on this uh, this transparent cover and transfer through that one and falls on the absorber plate. Then the absorber plate absorbs the heat and transfer to the this tubes which is attached to the that absorber plate. Then whatever the water is there inside the tube that will be get heated by receiving the heat from the tube. And the whatever this uh, uh, rays received, sun rays received in the form of heat will not be reflected back because of the this two layers of the transparent covers. And here from the bottom, at the bottom the insulation is provided. The insulation which avoids the transfer of the heat from the this copper to the copper tube to the surroundings. Then the whatever the heat content in the this water that is circulated, the water is circulated so that we are going to get the hot water and that hot water we can use directly for the uh, that is the bathing application or cooking, cooking application that is the domestic applications or that can be used for heating up the uh, secondary fluid okay the organic fluid which will be converts into vapor and that vapor can be exported in the turbine and the power can be generated from it like that for the power generation and domestic application this solar flat plate collector is used for the conversion of the solar energy into the useful form of the energy and the explanation of this one we can take this way there are many types of the flat plate collector designs are there but the most are based on the 
principle shown in the figure that one. In the what the figure we have discussed, the same principle are used, whatever the type of the collector it may be. It is the plate and two type collector. Plate and the two type of collector. That is flat plate is there. That's why it is called as a flat plate type collector. It is basically consists of the flat surface with a high absorptivity for solar radiation. That whatever the plate it will con consist. Okay, that will be high absorptivity for the solar radiation called the absorbing surface. Typically, a metal plate, usually of copper, steel, or aluminium material, with a tubing of copper in thermal contact with the plates. Okay, with the plates, the copper tubes are connected. Are the most commonly used materials, and the absorber plate is usually made up of the metal sheet, one to two mm thickness. While the tubes, which are also of metal, range in the diameter from 1 to 1.5 cm. They are soldered, braced, or a clamp to the bottom, in the same cases to the top. The whatever the tubes are there, those are soldered, or the are braced, or a clamp to the whatever the absorber plate is there. Of the absorber plate, with the pitch ranging from the 5 to 15 cm. The distance between the two tubes, whatever is there, that is called as the pitch, and that ranging from the 5 to 15 cm distance between the two tubes. In the some designs, the tubes are also in line and integral with the absorber plates. In some designs, whatever this uh, tubes are there, okay, those are integral part of the plate. The plate only bent to a tube form, and directly that. Uh, The plate itself receives the heat, and where the the water flowing is taking place in the tube, which is formed in the plate itself. Okay. For the absorber plate, corrugated, galvanized sheet is a material widely available throughout the world. Okay. For the absorber plate, whatever is there, that is a corrugated galvanized sheet is a material widely used for throughout the world. And whatever the material we are using, that is a corrugated and galvanized. Now to provide the resting of that one, the figure is 3.5 a and the b, which shows the uh, ways of in which it has been used. The tubes how we are going to use the tubes which are like this or this one. The absorber plate may be provided where the water is flowing through this passage, or the tubes may be formed above that sheet, okay, which is the integral part of the that whatever the absorber plate is there, and water passage passage is provided for that. In this any one of the method, there are many. There is a um, method. There is a tube separately we can use, or integral part of the that absorber plate also we can use as the uh, absorber plate to heat the the water inside, which is flowing through it. Then the other way of that explanation of this uh, flat plate collector also we can see that one. The students who are going to uh, use that one. The flat plate collector. In the different way, also we can explain where we are going to consider the whatever the casing which is provided with that one, and also which are the materials used for the casing, insulation, and that cover plate, and also that is the absorber plate tube. So all these things also can be used for the discussion. The schematic diagram of the flat plate collector is shown in Figure 3.4. It consists of a casing either made up of wood or Plastic having an area of the two meter and one meter, one fifteen centimeter in the casing. Insulator is provided at the bottom of it to reduce the heat transfer. Look at the insulator is provided: mineral wool, glass wool, fiberglass, asbestos, thermocol, etc. Are used for the insulator. The which material is used for the insulator? These are the materials we can use. Above the insulator, the absorber plate is fixed. Above the insulator, the absorber plate is fixed. The absorber plate is made up of the good conducting material like aluminium or copper. Okay, there the steel also we have mentioned. It is coated black to increase its absorption properties. That's a black plate. What we how you will call it is a painted with a black color because in order to increase the absorption, because the black or whatever surface is there, it is the highest absorber. Okay, that's why they not to increase the absorbing capacity. It is Coated with black. 
Usually the black coating is done by the chemical treatment. The chem by the chemical treatment, black coating will be done on the absorber plate. Selective coatings which will of which allow for maximum absorption of radiation and minimum amount of emission are applied onto the absorber plate. Here then that whatever the material, selective coating material is used, that one has maximum absorption and minimum reflection which will be carried out. The underside of the plate consists of the absorber tubes which run along with the along the length of the plate. Along the length of the plate that absorber tubes will run. The tubes are also made up of the same material as the absorber plate. The tube material is also same. Sometimes the plate itself is bent into the form of the tubes. That is the integral part of the tubes can be formed. Through the, these tubes, the heat absorbing medium, usually water, is circulated. Through the water uh, tube, the water is circulated. This medium will absorb the heat from the plates and uh, tubes and its temperature increases. That whatever the water is there, that absorbs heat from the plate and the tubes and its temperature will be increases. This way, solar energy is collected as heat energy. In this way, solar energy is collected as a heat energy. Above the absorber plate, glass covers are provided. The glass covers help to bring out the greenhouse effect. That means it only absorbs the radiation, it will not reflect any radiation. Therefore, there only that heat will be remains within the cover plate and the absorber plate and that will become a greenhouse effect so that the temperature will be increases, thus increasing the efficiency of the collector. More than one cover is used to prevent the loss of radiation by reflection. The usually two covers are used in order to prevent the reflection of the that radiation back. Like this, in this way, we can increase the collection of the heat energy by the flat plate collector. Okay, by this is called the whatever the explanation about the solar flat plate collector. This is one of the thermal system where the heat energy will be collected and used for the different applications okay, of the energy. Thanks for watching. And if you like, subscribe and share and comment to the my video. Thank you once again.